This one is a younger baby, whereas this one, <laughs> it's a toddler now. Oh my goodness, Amy, do not make a black mini Kelly SO. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. I'm gonna answer your recent questions in this video, and in case you don't know where to post those, make sure to follow me on Instagram. First question by Miles and Sid. How do you find your constants to go so far? So this is the bag that she was referring to. This is my new baby. I just unboxed her recently. I'll link it up here and in the video description if you wanted to see my unboxing and first impression. I just came back from my vacation and this plus another bag were the only two bags that I brought with me. No joke, I didn't bring any other bags, not even well, if you count the Longchamp tote bag, then that's another bag, but I only use that as a travel and luggage bag. So technically this one plus my other bag were my only purses. From using this bag almost every day, I would say pretty much every day, I love it. What surprises me the most about this bag, just my confirmation of how versatile it is because I had all these ideas that yes, I'm gonna be using this not only as an everyday travel bag, but also as a clutch for evening. In terms of how pleasant and how functional it became as part of my life and how I envisioned it, it totally checked all the boxes. Is there anything I would improve on it? Mm. The price for one, but that's not going to change. I'm going to say no because this version of Hermes's wallet on chain is literally perfect. It's easy to open, easy to close, get in and out. There's a back pocket. This back pocket is so handy because I had my room key in there. It fits my phone and everything that I can possibly need. I can do a what's in my bag, maybe in a short, so stay tuned for that. And um, you know, that way you can see what I was able to fit in this bag every day during my cruise. And even since coming back, I haven't switched out of this bag and that's how much I like it. Um, so I think it speaks volume how useful this item is. I don't think this is an item that you will buy just to collect. This is an item that you actually buy and really use. You're going to put all the wear and tear in it. It's going to get all scratched up, all scuffed up. Um, but this is what I wanted it to be. A bag that I decided to use that was just as bougie, but it will be my ride or die. Like I will literally use this until it falls apart. The next questions, two of them are from What He Chung. What is your favorite bag? I think it's really hard to narrow down to just one because I currently have a lot of favorite bags. I think right this moment, I am literally having a honeymoon phase with these two because these are my newest ones. And these are the two bags that I mentioned earlier that I brought to my vacation. I didn't bring any other luxury bags. I was thinking of taking my Chanel top handle mini. In the end, I just wanted to make really good use of these and just get to know these two bags really, really well and see if there were any cons that I didn't really foresee. And so far, I am in love with these two. So I guess currently my favorites are these two, but I have so many favorites. Just because some other bags are slightly older or even a lot older, doesn't mean that they're not my favorite. It's just that I'm not having a honeymoon phase with those. Brick and 25, Kelly 25, all my Chanel minis, my Lady Dior, those are all my favorites. And your next question is, how much do you have to buy to get a Birkin and Kelly? in Vancouver? I think this kind of question is the hardest to answer because I don't want to give you false expectation and then you do the same thing and you don't have the same results. For those of you who are not familiar, we only have one boutique here and Canada is a very small market for luxury compared to a lot of countries. We have one-tenth of USA's population and we are a bigger country. So just, that's just to give you a bit of perspective. So market wise, it's very different. So let's say this bag is $10,000, right? It's way more than that, but let's just say just for easy math, you would have to spend an equivalent of two times or three times the price of this bag in order to get the offer. That is the average. I'm not saying that this is 
always the case because some people spend less and some people spend more. So in average, I have heard that here we spend an average of two or three ratio to um, each quota bag offer. Obviously, there are many other factors that you need to consider. Timing is a big factor because if at the time that you're waiting for a quota bag, there's just no quota bags in, or maybe a lot of people are waiting for the same quota bags at the same time, then you're gonna wait a little longer. That means also that you are potentially spending more money because waiting longer means that you're gonna do more shopping trips in between. Another factor, which I mean, there's so many intangible factors, is your relationship. How much does the store and your essay and the store manager sees you as a potential long-term client? and sees you as a serious client, not just someone who buys to maybe resell, who doesn't actually love the brand and all those things. They are very, very serious about those things. That is all subjective. Some people have had better luck or easier time to get their quota bags. I want to say that my experience has been average, except for the first year and a bit because I've had to, like I said, go through some major hurdles back then. Um, maybe one day I'll talk about it because I, I don't know. I just, I just, I'm not someone to complain. So I just make things happen. I do my best and whatever. Um, and now I'm in a good place, I think. Again, it's all speculative. I don't want to say that this is the rule or anything. Anything you buy count towards your profile. It'll count towards what kind of stuff you buy, right? Um, however, when I spoke about the two or three ratio, it normally does not include any leather goods. So any of the non quota bags that you're offered or any of the small leather goods you're buying, those things don't count towards the quota because basically these things are just as precious and just as hard to come by. So if you do the math, for most people, they, they spend way more than two or three to one. They spend probably five to one because they're going to buy some leather goods in between. It's a lot. It's I'm not going to lie. It's it's really that challenge. The next question, Steph Louis, would you be able to get a Hermes quota bag if you only go to the store a few times? Everyone's experience in their store, home store, will be very, very different. Again, I don't know where you're located, but um, some some stores you are able to just shop a few times and get a quota offer is it possible here like right here where i shop i heard it's not possible i think our expectations here have to be a bit different again we are a much smaller market for luxury so Hermes doesn't send as many items over to Canada. On the other hand, Vancouver is probably one of the most competitive cities in terms of um, people that actually like luxury. I think Vancouver and Toronto are the highest uh, just because our population of luxury loving people are the highest within the whole Canada. It's multi-factored. So I feel like in Vancouver, it's probably not possible if you were able to get a bag offer with very little spend then I congratulate you because you were so lucky uh, is that gonna happen more than once I highly doubt it honestly because that's anyway that's what I hear uh, it hasn't happened to me obviously <laughs> you guys know my a uh, very difficult journey um, but yeah it's um, it's possible but not everywhere okay the next question is by Selena Sapla hi Amy do you prefer your mini Kelly to your Kelly 25 now that you have both. My Kelly beauties, especially since I was just on vacation, so I had to bundle it all up and um, take it to a secure place. And so this is exactly how I normally store it. And I just wanted to show you, this is my trick. I've never seen anybody else do it. If you notice, other than the original felt, I also have a piece of black material right here. And that is basically preventing the bottom plate from getting scratched from the bottom of the top plate. I think it'll make sense once I open it for you. So there you go. I just opened this top Sanko here. And as you can see, I have this little black little piece of felt um, because otherwise it would be going over this plate and you would put the more scratches on this plate. Inevitably, 
it will get scratched over time more and more these sangles when you're using the bag uh, but it's just that when I'm storing it especially when I'm trying to put it in a secure place storage wise I, I want to close it properly and everything so I just cut up little pieces of felt like this can you see I just have a little piece of black felt and I cut up a little slit here and I just put it in between this sangle and this sangle so that um, the bottom of this sangle is not gonna constantly scratch up this one every time I close it up like this completely so yeah that's how I store it and extra little tip for you during this Q&A so I have one of these also for my mini Kelly but okay back to your question this is my Kelly 25 this is my mini Kelly which one do I prefer <sighs> it's really hard to <laughs> I don't like to play favoritism. These are both my babies. I love them both. But which one am I having more of a honeymoon phase at the moment with? This one, because this one is a younger baby. Whereas this one, <laughs> it's a toddler now. It's like a little older baby. No, seriously, guys, I love both of them because I don't think I would have been able to just get a mini Kelly and be okay with my journey, be done with it. Similarly, I don't think I could have just gotten a Kelly 25 and be done with my journey either. Like, I just feel like these are just part of my core collection. I have to have both. Now, having said that, if I could only get one, it's hypothetical, so I'll answer you. But um, if I could only get one, I would only get the mini Kelly. I think this is so pretty though like this Kelly 25 in black Epsom is oh it's breathtaking literally this is this is a bag for life and you don't ever have to worry about downsizing so much because with this bag I mean this bag has huge issues <laughs> uh, I still love it because it's a baby like I said but this one is just the most perfect everything size and everything but like I said if I could only have one it will be the mini because you have to get things that work for your lifestyle most of the time if you've been watching my channel for years now you would know that I have a penchant for mini size bags or small bags in general I don't generally buy bigger bags because I find them very heavy. I don't use big bags and, um, you know, a bunch of different reasons. I just don't use bigger bags. I just love tiny little bags. And I am the kind of girl that is very minimal when it comes to bringing stuff out. I don't care to bring that extra packet of tissue. I don't care to bring... <laughs> you know the kitchen sink like I'm not like that I I don't retouch my makeup so I'm just a very simple person and so small bags work so well and I also like the aesthetic better I also find it lighter so all those lifestyle reasons I prefer mini bags and therefore if I could only choose one between these two I would go for the mini size Kelly but that is a very hypothetical scenario because like I said, I love these two Kellys so much. I cannot imagine not having either one of them right now. And so I feel like they both have a place in my life. And so um, the reality is that I will have both eventually. Like when I got this one, I knew that my next goal was the mini Kelly. So. Does that answer your question though? Because again, I don't think that just because I love the mini size more, that is everyone's holy grail, you know, like some people just cannot, cannot fit their life in this. It's very small. Um, I think if I had to redo another comprehensive video, review, whatever, six month review, whatever, on this I'm gonna have a lot of things to complain about it but at the same time 
I I love it so much that like uh, those things don't matter and I just work around those issues. I hope this answer was satisfactory. You also had another question, Selena. If you had the chance to create a special order or a la carte SO, what combo would you choose? So Selena, I thought about this after I got this bag. I thought about it. Like seriously, I'm not even joking. I actually thought about, oh, now that I have seriously all my biggest hurdles, biggest quota holy grail bags that I wanted since the beginning, um, I mean, I'm still missing the constants, but it's okay because I have the constants to go and I'm really happy with this one for now. So um, I did legitimately think about this question and I was trying to entertain the idea. Do I go for a Birkin or a Kelly, like the regular size, not the minis, right? Like this kind of size, but in the dreamiest of white colors or the dreamiest of light gray, dove gray colors, because those are some of my favorite, beautiful, sort of like angelic color bags that I would love to have in my collection. I probably won't use them as much as the black ones, but I, I just want those. Or do I go for yet another mini Kelly, but just a different combo? Because like I said before, I would I would totally, even though it's probably not possible, a candy colored array of mini Kellys. I mean, I would love to, but I don't think my lifestyle is to that point where I need that kind of collection. I'm not a socialite. Ever since getting this little guy and then getting this, because this is just such a workhorse, I'm just really content, you know? It's not that I don't want to work on the next bag or the next dream holy grail, but um, right now I'm just so happy to have these. So I honestly don't know what I'm gonna get if I was offered an SO at the moment, but if I was offered one, maybe I'll make another one of these just because of how hard it is. But what color would I make it? What combo? Oh my goodness. I'm dwelling on this question, am I not? Um, I would like it in a white, but I, you guys know me, I love a black bag. And then you guys are probably gonna think, oh my goodness, Amy, do not make a black mini Kelly SO, that is so crazy. No, I would probably make some sort of combination with like the dreamiest, dreamiest light color palette that Elmez offers. So now I wanna ask you guys back, please help me out because this girl right here has no idea if I was offered an SO right now, and you guys know my collection, what combinations, I mean, what bag, what bag and which combination would you suggest for me? Like seriously, looking at my lifestyle and how I dress, um, the way you know me, please don't suggest any crazy, crazy combos that I'm never gonna wear. I mean, you can suggest them, but like, I, it's it's, I'm probably not gonna do those, um, but just, yeah, let me know what you think. And also, do they do touch combos? Can I order a mini Kelly in touch instead of full exotic? Because I think full exotics can be too much sometimes. I'd rather be able to wear my bag more often than just to have a beautiful, beautiful, exquisite piece that I will never wear, if that makes sense. Okay, the next question is from V Happy Place. How do you take care of your silk? and cashmere ready to wear from Hermes. So far, I haven't had to dry clean my silks yet just cause I just rotate all of them. They don't really get dirty or haven't gotten dirty yet. I also don't wear any fragrances, so none of my things will smell funky. Um, and I also don't sweat a lot, I guess. That's a lot of TMI, but you guys get the idea is that they're not dirty yet. Well, having said that, does it mean that I never clean them? No. Please don't think that I'm a dirty person. I actually do spot clean my items right away. Let's say this Chanel shirt that I'm wearing right now, right? Um, if I went out to eat and food got onto it or my lipstick or my makeup got onto it or whatever, I don't just wash the whole shirt because the rest of my shirt is still clean. So I just spot clean. I use Castile soap, but if there was a major disaster to one of my scarf, yes, I will bring it to the dry cleaner. Another tip that I have for you, which I 
heard also from one of my essays is that for scars, you don't actually need to really dry clean them all the time. That's what he told me. He said that if you have a clothing steamer, you could just use it on your scarf. With the heat of the steamer, it kills any bacteria that got onto it and it does in a way help clean it, right? Because dry cleaning is, is just dry cleaning. I don't think they're supposed to soak your item in any sort of liquid in case it will shrink it. In other words, it's also killing any bacteria on your items, on the fabric. And then if there are any additional major spots, then those would be spot cleaned. So it's the same concept if you just want to steam your scarves at home and that way it kills all the germs that's considered cleaning as well. And I do that, I do do that. Just because I get a lot of wrinkles on them when I wrap them as tops. So I do steam my scarves as well. So that's part of cleaning as well. In terms of my cashmere, so I just brought a few for to show you. And plus I just got back from my vacation. So I actually did bring these three pieces with me. So with my clothes, cashmere or otherwise, I do the same thing spot cleaning in general when it does get very soiled and dirty of course i will wash it and with my clothes i'm totally okay to just put it in my washing machine this is for socks and underwear so it's a lot smaller but there are much bigger wash bags that you can buy at the dollar store and whatnot and i would just put my garment inside put it inside your wash bag and i will put it in my washing machine at the most delicate cycle, shortest cycle, cold water, and very, very gentle detergent. We use a brand that is completely natural. So, so far it hasn't ruined any of our clothes yet. I will link it down below if you're interested in knowing which one. Make sure you take it out immediately and air dry or line dry or flat dry on the surface, reshape it. Also to point out that with any time you wash anything, they do tend to go back to its original shape if it has stretched out, so don't be alarmed. Um, it doesn't mean that it has shrunk, but sometimes it might feel that it has shrunk. Personally, I've never been concerned about those issues because I do like my clothing to feel fitted and I am confident that if it did maybe just shrink a little bit that it will just stretch out again with me wearing it over time. So uh, it's kind of going back and forth every time you wash it, if that makes sense. So that's been my experience so far. Again, we do have a newer or newish washer. So um, it's a front load it's energy saving and all those things. So the most, I think the shortest cycle is like 20 minutes. It's very short. I definitely wouldn't put it in a very old washing machine that will ruin your clothes for sure. I will only wash it myself if you have a very, very new and good washing machine. <laughs> a very gentle one. The next question is by Days Gracia. Congratulations on all your beautiful bags. What is your next bag on the wish list? Oh my goodness, that's like asking me which SO or similar to that sort of question. I honestly don't know. I I needed your help to give me suggestions. Um, however, there is one bag I don't have yet that I definitely want and it is the Constance 18. Hence, I wanted the Constance to go at least for now just to experience the Constance log and I I'm glad that I was able to experience on this wallet version because I know I will also enjoy the Constance bag. So that's definitely on my wish list. Is it the one next on my wish list immediately? I don't know yet because I don't think I'm done with Birkins and Kelly's in a way. Like I said, I, I really do feel like I need some lighter colors in my collection. I just kind of feel like I need it because I am someone who does like to go matchy matchy with what i'm wearing so even though i wear a lot of darker clothing which will match with dark bags i also like wearing very light color outfits a lot of times so i like to have the option to style those outfits more readily at this time i'm not even sure if i'm more of a kelly girl or birkin girl more because i feel like i like both of them equally next question by alexis satina 13 
Would you get another lock bracelet to stack with your current one? So this is the lock bracelet from Tiffany. Um, I have the white gold half pave version. Even when it first came out, it was already very expensive. And now that they've had a few price increases, it's become so expensive that I am not sure if I will buy another one to stack with this because it's not like I really need to stack it to feel like it's a complete stack already on my left hand. And so I don't feel the urge to get another one just yet. I would totally get another one, but would I get it right away? No. Would I get it anytime soon? No. And would I get it in the far future? Maybe. A lot of things can change within a year or two. Maybe the price would have gone up so much that it's just not worth it anymore. Or maybe I just don't have anything else on my wish list and I just want to get that stack. I would just get it. So it just depends on what's going to happen. Um, having said that, it's funny that you ask about my Tiffany because I spotted some new stuff. My essay also keeps me... <laughs> aware of the new stuff that comes in and so that doesn't help because I'm always sort of like looking at their site and just browsing in general and recently I came across one of their gorgeous knot necklace and it's the it's not the one with the chains because I have enough chain necklaces as it is already it's the one that is you know the how do you call those? It's this necklace and it's gorgeous, it's expensive, but it's also very sophisticated, minimal, and totally my style. I just fell in love with the look. I haven't tried it yet because I'm trying not to go to the store. I don't want to splurge just yet. <laughs> I have to wait a little while at least. Um, but I have my eye on that one. So let me know what you think of it. If you've tried it, if you recommend it or not recommend it, please let me know because if I can save my money, I will. <laughs> but at the same time, I also want to get it if it's a good one, you know, like I don't want to miss out on it. So please let me know. Thank you so much for your questions. You might be interested in my previous two videos that I'm going to link down here and I will talk to you in the comment section or in those videos. Bye guys.